We're coming to you live from Tombstone, Arizona. It's sold out Chimera Stadium. This is global warming at its finest, folks. It's a scorching 116 degrees today, but thankfully, it's a dry heat. Remember, in the NFL, we encourage you to play with your food. He's probably lining up against you. The Terra Bay Mutineers battle. The Cardinal sins. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> If you like your cocktail cold, your soup hot, and your steak still mooing, then you're going to love seeing mutants knock cold, their brains turned into hot lava soup, and their bodies strewn about the field, lying still and barely moving. NFL game day is on the air. Oh, you just made me hungry, Grim. I'm going to go get some of them extra crispy mutant finger strips. Hey, get me a full slab of broken mutant ribs while you're there. And it's first and ten. A pickup of about three on that play. Second down and seven. And that's how you shock the monkey. Thunderclap. Nice hit. And it's first and ten. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. Can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take. Huh. I didn't know that was a penalty. Yeah, these rule changes are ruining the game, Grim. Second down and a lot. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Second down in a mile. Brain Scrambler! Third down and forever. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. There's no reason to go for it here, but... They do anyway. Oh, man, I love this dirty trick. The quarterback unleashed. Well, just when I thought only noobs would go for it on fourth for no real reason, they convert. But did they just get really lucky? Stay tuned. Go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me. I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. And it's first and ten. left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Second down in a very lot. Nice pass. That catch is good for six yards.
Third down and, well, good luck. Call man about a six yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. Oh, with the punishing hit. And it's first and ten. for the first down. And it's first and ten. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. for a first down. First down and nine. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Man, nobody can touch the ball. Take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh, with a brutal hit! First and ten. And the runner is going to break it back. Can't keep a good mutant down. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. And this game is up for grabs. Second down and a lot. Third down and the QB is saying his prayers. Rigged the 
ball to explode, and the defensive player got blown to bits. <laughs> Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. Great chance for a big game. But still not enough for a first. Even I'm frustrated, and I'm a team agnostic. Most kickers should be able to make this one. But will this kicker make it? Find out next time on NFL Game Day. Uh, MFL isn't episodic, Brett. He's got the distance, and the kick is good! They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down and forever. That's a six-yard gain. Second down and long. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. Lindsay Lohan's nose hits a mare in Lost Wages, Nevada. And it's first and ten. Oh, mama, he just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. Second down in a lot. Mistakes here, just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. First and ten. Well, oh, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Second down and ten. And the defense just knocked the wind out of that quarterback. Hey, man, I'm scared of Godzilla. I 
Third down and long. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And it's first and ten. And he catches it for six yards. Good mitts on that play, Bricks. His fingers are like a bunch of sausages. And that'll be second down and four. Nope. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And it's first and ten. Didn't see it. At least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. Second down and five. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. Third down and the punter is warming up. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> And that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of death's constant, relentless advance? If only it was as easy as telling them, time out. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Seriously, man, you think you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. You know, this shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's for they stump the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work breaks. <laughs> he 
and that is caught for a first down. And it's for a timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. Thank God he's still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. Hey, a sawbuck says he misses. And it's good! You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good, huh? I mean, can't we all just... Not this shit again. Brex, I'm stopping it right there. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. First and ten. That run is good for nine yards. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I'd do. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. First and ten. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. Second down and ten. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. First down and one. And he runs it in for the touchdown. You know, some would argue that demons don't have a place in this league, but with moves like that, I have to disagree. Uh, you're just saying that because he'd rip your face off and use it for book binding. I don't see how that's not a valid reason. And these guys think kicking is for pussies, Bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls, Grim. Yeah, bigger than yours. No one was going to stop him. That's two points. <laughs> the home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten.
to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. Second down and four. Third down and five. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. Good throw, good catch, but not quite good enough at nine yards. And that'll bring up second and one. The quarterback had no time to throw, and the defense gets a big sack. Boo, baby, I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Third down and nine. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! <laughs> Yeah, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up in my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. And that'll give them four more downs to punish the defense. And you better believe they will. And it's first and ten. Oh, he just got crushed! Second down and more than the QB would like. down from a great catch was it a catch though let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out and it's first and ten oh the defense must have called a hot potato dirty trick that'll wake you up and then put you to sleep permanently you snooze you lose unless you're in a sleeping contest and it's first and ten First and offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Yeah, nobody likes to watch that happen to a ref. Yeah, you got that right, Brickhead. They'd rather be down there in the field doing it themselves. A lot more fun. Mm-hmm. First down in a mile. Hunt. Hunt. 
One, hot two, three. And the quarterback calls a sonic blast, dirty trick, and throws it. He broke free and has open field in front of him. He's at the 10. Touchdown! Nobody can touch an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? They want more points, so they're going for two. He just picked the receiver's pocket, and the defense gets it. Man, what a hit that was. That move, baby. No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. Oh, man, what a throw. And Sonic Blast. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Quarterback can be hurting or dead. Hey man, you see that? That's right. You can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. Second down in a lot. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's gonna have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. That's the end of three, and it's anyone's game. Hang on tight. The fourth quarter is about to begin. And it's first and ten. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. you got to keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. you got to make that catch. Second down and ten. That's a six-yard gain on that catch. Third and four. And the ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. First and four. Zips that one in there for a touchdown. How have they not killed him yet? He's wearing a new mink coat, for God's sake. He's seven layers of smarmy grin. They're back up here on first. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. And look at that ref run. He makes it out of bounds to survive another play. <laughs> First down and forever. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down in a mile. And 
And that's the way you do it. Eat up chunks of yards with pinpoint passing. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And into the end zone for a touchdown! Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Hey man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. Grim, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. up 10 on that run. Man, he nearly broke that one open, Bricks. Yeah, and I nearly married Trim Big Assian. And I nearly did not crap my pants earlier. Nearly as overrated, Grim. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and 10. has to do a better job of watching out for that dirty trick. Second down and ten. And that's some good old-fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. And that'll bring up third and one. And he catches it for a touchdown! What a beautiful play! Yeah, it's almost poetic, man. Like a haiku! Ghost They're going for two points. Blown to hell. He got blown to shit. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. <laughs> the offense has only two linemen left on the offense, and will need to play shorthanded the rest of the game. Say me things about short people, Grim. Yeah, at least they don't look down on people. And it's first and ten. First and ten. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too.
Second down and ten. Let me tell you, getting shocked is no joke. I used to wear triple wool socks, slide around on a shit carpet for eight hours so I could shock my younger brother. I went to change the TV channel and got blown across the room into the theater antlers. Third down and ten. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. And then Katz will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. First down and one. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds. Two minutes left in the game. Hang on. Second down and five. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grin? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands. They used their second timeout, but they are running out of time. A uh, bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. Uh, he caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Well, that should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> no more timeouts for the defense. Or the offense, Bricks. That's, that's the important part. Second down and long. And that's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there.
Third down and three. He runs it for three. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense... The Sins come away with a sinful win. The entire game was trench warfare. Both teams battling back and forth, bruised and battered, but in the end, there could be only one winner. There are winners in my book. I think that a feeder team should get a participation award because you know, I tried really hard. Why don't you try real hard and shut the fuck up? Nice mouth. Why don't you try to lay off the Scots, Junior? Suck on it. Real nice. Let's go to the game's MVP. Once again, the folks at Evil SM thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every up.